Hello guys. So my name is Shitit Shah, and I am working on this project of adding an AI assistant to the PP activity. As we know that PP activity is a place where kids learn how to code Python. So my task is to add an AI assistant which would make their coding journey easy. So as far as this project is concerned, it's mainly in two parts: the AI part and the UI part, and then we have to do integration of these two parts. So this is the AI part which I have completed in the six weeks. And I have basically implemented four features like code correction, code generation, and helping the new software developers who contribute to the Sugar code base understand the GTK and the Pygame involved in this uh, code base of Sugar. So this is the AI model. In this AI model, I am currently using a Llama 2 model, which you can see here. So this is a Llama 2 model. and uh, basically i would be generating codes correcting them and also help user navigate to the pygame and the gtk base so as far as the gtk and the pygame is concerned it was quite difficult to find proper data sets for them and hence uh, i decided to do uh, a rag approach instead of fine tuning them the reason was that pygame and gtk are not so generic compared to other data sets and finding them was difficult for the task which we wanted this ai model to perform hence uh, i shifted my focus from uh, the fine tuning to a rag based approach and in this rag based approach i am basically feeding my model three documents which uh, out of them two i have manually made and uh, another one is what i found from net so this is the first documentation uh, which i have loaded in this rag model and you can see here it's covering all the important aspects of the gtk uh, all about the things like objects how they work this is g object the apis and everything second is the sugar toolkit it involves basically that how and what uh, the gtk uh, sugar toolkit is consist uh, consists of and also i have included all the important modules which are uh, frequently used in the sugar toolkit Uh, i have i have not included all the stuff in this documentation because uh, it becomes difficult for the model to generate and understand things very well and hence i have tried to include only that part which is necessary for the model and based on which the model can give an appropriate and good answer so here you can see these are some of the most frequently used model while building activities in sugar so these are the toolbox toolbar box module and tool button module and at last i have added one hello world activity so my mentor suggested me that the hello world activity is something where uh, all the new developers first understand this code base because it's a most fundamental code base of the gtk and hence uh, i have included this code for the hello world activity and explained all the functions and the modules used within it so this is the, my second documentation and the third documentation which i found from net was the pygame documentation so this pygame documentation consists of many things like uh, introduction to the pygame working with images text uh, gui making games and lots of things and uh, you can see it's very systematic because it has proper codes along with the outputs and has proper explanation for the same this is the ideal part which we needed for the ai assistant and this documentation is serving all the purpose which we want so hence i loaded this documentation and i have loaded this documentation in the model so now look at, let's look at the output which i am model is generating so uh, i have tested i am model on 3 to 4 questions so this was the first code correction question and as you can see that here i am providing the uh, add functions add numbers this is a function i am providing it only single parameter instead of two parameters and then i am telling the model to correct me this code and we can see that the model has corrected the code by adding one more parameter along with the five and uh, it has also provide me a proper explanation for the same so this uh, this way model has passed with the first example and uh, let's consider this this example in which i am asking the model to generate me syntax of a for loop uh, these questions are very basic uh, 
because we want to correspond as if a kid is asking this model any simple questions. So we have kept the simplicity of this question as low as possible. And this is the good example which the model has generated. Next question was about the pie game and scraping the data from the pie game documentation, a model has generated this query. And this query is uh, this result. And this result is about the uh, how to change background using pie game. So you can see how well it has written the code along with the proper exa proper explanation for the same. This is the explanation which you can see. And last, I have asked the model to give me an example of the sugar activity having GTK used in it. And so you can find the same here. So this way, the model is generating absolutely amazing codes and serving all the purpose for which we had uh, we were wanting. And uh, yes, there are some hallucinations in this model, but I'm trying to remove them as soon as possible. Uh, currently, in the six weeks, I've made the free assistant as better as possible. Now I'm shifting my focus to the UI. And uh, this is the rough Figma design for the UI, which I'm going to make. So basically, we had uh, made these two designs. This one for the PPA assistant and this was the second one. So mentor suggested me that this one is quite better because uh, here you can see the AI, AI so assistant. You can code as well as you can see the terminal. Hence, it serves a multi-purpose. Uh, it serves us in many ways. And uh, this is very uh, better for the kids as well as developers because they can use the AI assistant as well as code simultaneously. Whereas in this approach, they would have to continue, continuously switch between tabs. And it's not advisable because it makes kids get distracted. Hence, uh, we have finalized upon this approach. Uh, currently, we are trying to integrate more op and uh, currently we are trying to optimize this UI design as fast as possible. Once this UI design has been optimized, we would be working upon uh, the integration of this AI part, this AI model, which we had designed in this UI, which we have made. Uh, and once the integration is done, our PPA, PPA activity would be fully equipped with an AI assistant. And that's uh, an amazing thing. So that's all from my side. And thank you.